There it goes. Now it's been a long time. Unlike the other times. Think the sub hearts. Have you guys noticed the last <clears throat> the last three uploads on my channel are all purple. Like the thumbnails are all purple. Gotta go council man, thank you for the year. Tune to the fish, thank you for the sub. It has been a minute. How are y'all? Yeah. It has been a minute. Yeah, next video won't be purple, or maybe, well, I don't know, it's a cool color. No, I'm not gonna shave bald right now. And no, I do not have TikTok. Anyway, it's nice to see you guys again. I'm sorry, it's been so long. A lot of things have happened, as you can probably imagine, because I don't just disappear for that long randomly. Uh, as I said, before I left, I see Terry, thank you for the sub. I was going to Japan. I didn't know what that was going to be like, how that was going to go, so I'm back, I made it. And then, I was tired from some other stuff. And it's not been easy since I got back either. MXVII, I think it's 100 bits. It's been a lot, there's been a lot. No, I didn't die. How was Japan? It was, I mean, you'll hear all about it at some point, right? Dr. Happy, thank you for the sub. It was everything. Literally everything happened. Vision, thank you for the sub. Ah, you get it. Welcome home, because this is... You hear the song? This is home from Undertale, and I'm home now. So, I haven't been home for that long, honestly. My sleep schedule is still a little... Because, you know, because Japan is 13 hours off. You know what I mean? So I'm still not... I'm still, that's why I'm streaming so late right now. But, you know. Yeah, my uncle moved to Japan, so I went to go visit him. Uh, and that, that was a whole thing. We'll get into that. So, I'm back. Uh, Phantom, thank you for the sub. I don't know how consistent I'm gonna start, but I'm gonna eventually be consistent again. It takes a while. Thought I was in the hospital. Well, it, it's, a lot of things have happened. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of screw around and kind of get back. I haven't, like, played the game in a while, so I just want to play it a little, you know what I mean? Dommy, thank you for the sub. It makes me, I think, 100 bits. I might play some Destiny. I might not. I'm definitely gonna complete it now. RG, thank you for the sub. How was the food? Oh my god. How was the food indeed? It was so good. And it's way healthier than it is in America. I'll tell you that much. Way healthier. Yeah, no, like, real, real sushi, and real wasabi, which is, like, actually, that's actually what you want right there. I was just playing, like, random levels in here. I've not been playing much. Yeah, everything seems to be healthier in Japan. The people, too, I mean, there's no one, there's no one that's, like, everyone looks like they're in shape, you know what I mean? I don't know how to describe it. But I'm definitely not back to my 100%, I'll tell you that much. But I just wanted to shoot because I was feeling good enough today. I was like, you know, let's let's say hi to everyone today, you know? It's one of those things where it's just like long enough has passed. I want I wanted to just kind of stop not doing anything for a while, you know what I mean? I've been kind of going a bit easy on myself because of how much has been going on, but it's I want to get back on the horse now. You know what I mean? I got stuff I want to do. And it's not gonna get done by me not doing it. Pretty obviously. Why did I click? I I'm gonna I, I'm just washed, guys. I'm washed. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I clicked in the portal there. This song is nostalgic AF. Actually. I'm sorry if you messaged me on Discord and I didn't respond. I got back and I was like, oh yeah, I can respond to these. Like, there's not so many. And then every time I clicked on a new one, another one spawned. Impossible. There was no chance I was ever getting through all those. Oh, I don't know why I clicked. 
not my style. Oh, I, I went to lots of cool places. Hey, one off Helix, what's up, dude? Congrats, I heard, you know. Uh-oh. Yeah, GD rusts real fast. What should we do? I don't know if I just wanna hop, I don't know if I should just like hop back into Edge of Destiny, cause that seems kinda like, I don't know. It's gonna be hard. This song? Maybe. Play map packs? Let's not play map packs, though. I haven't seen the Anathema. The only thing I've seen from the Anathema stuff is Sirius on Twitter being like that. I don't get, oh my God, I'm stupid. I cleaned my keyboard uh, yesterday. It's clean now, feels really good. That took a lot of effort for me because I'm not very, I'm not like a cleanly guy. But it was like, I removed one keycap and I saw the amount of like crud under there and I was like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I can't continue to ignore this. This needs to be squared away ASAP. So we got on that real quick. I have not seen that video. But yeah, I'm not completely out of the woods yet. Um, none. <laughs> have any of you guys played around with the Clyde? Honestly, I would have streamed like an hour earlier than this if Clyde didn't exist. Clyde had me. I was so invested. Actually insane the kind of stuff Clyde has been doing. It's, yeah. Maybe think of the 100 bits. I don't know. I think, well, okay, here's the thing. When, um, when 2.2 comes out, I think things are gonna be more optimized. You won't need a good computer to run GD like you do now, I think, honestly. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, how, how's your guys' summer been? Uneventful, eventful? What have you guys been doing? I didn't know what was happening there for some reason. Ah, uh, work. A lot of you are probably starting to work summer jobs. It is very hot, isn't it? Yeah, now that it's done, are you like empty inside? Cause I've been there. Like it's not a weird thing if you are. Cause that was like your whole, you know. It's just one of those like, you know, it, when it's so much of what you do not having it anymore, it's just like, wow, I woke up today and I don't have to do that. It's not anything that is up next, you know what I mean? It's weird. Cause your brain chemistry has to totally shift based off like what makes a good day anymore. If it comprises that much of your day, then you have a lot of days that you don't consider good because you're not getting like the, the chemicals that your brain got during a, all right, let's actually like play something. What's new? What do we got? I played some of these. Did this. Eight for the hundred bits, Nebby. That's crazy. That sounds really good. Oh, I don't think I want to play this. Oh, I don't think I want to play this one. No, 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 no. Jack, think about the sub. I played some of these. I played Atomic Cannon 2 is really cool, but it's like so spammy. It's so spammy. It's like the spammiest level I've ever played. Not even like spam, but it's just like, like, it, wow. It's a lot, I don't know. Oh, I can turn off hitboxes on death. I was making a layout. Can I use it? No. I played Fusion Dynamics yet. Uh, not ringing a bell. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, life has been so eventful for me in like the best and worst ways. Like it feels weird to just sit down. When I started like playing video games again, I was like, wow, right, I do this. Like it was like, because just so much was going on, just like relaxing for a second and just sitting on a computer is like, wow. I don't know how to describe it. It's such a weird feeling. I'm happy to be back though. Goddamn, that was a lot. <laughs> I played to the ectosphere. I don't know. Well, I think I'm doing decent. We'll talk about it at some point. <laughs> I don't want to ruin the mood instantly. 
I just got back. Like, you know, it's not like you open up a conversation with the worst thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was in... I was in Japan, you know, it was like a whole... What is going on? No, I don't like mashups, so thank you for the 100 bits. I'm not a big mashup, except... Well, no, it's not even a mashup. I was gonna say Die Hard syncs with Hard Machine, but that's not a mashup, it's just song replacement, different. My allergies in Japan were not so bad, actually. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm. I'm as allergic to the types of grass over there. What the work? Dragon, think about the sub. Maybe I just do one click here. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what you do. This sub was not very good. I'm afraid. I got when I so I didn't have. I didn't use the internet at all when I was gone, right? So when I came back, I was like, surely something interesting happened, right? I've been gone for like a month or whatever. No, nothing really happened, did it? Like nothing? It was a, it was a pretty blank time. What do, what, do, what do you want me to do? Probably not that. flows pretty well if you say so I don't know if this part I'm probably just not even entering it right though I'm also not the ship guy yo Jack think the five gifted appreciate it yeah world stopped as soon as I left you guys need me you don't get it without me you're nothing I make time flow and yeah, thanks for the five Jack. So I have bad news for myself and only myself. I haven't eaten dinner yet and now everything's closed, so. It looks like it's gonna be Subway for me tonight. Which isn't exactly how I wanted this to go, but. You know what? What is this? Sounds like Stranger Things. Well, I saw what, I saw what Kai Guy did. I saw that. That was hilarious, dude. Kai Guy is just. That, that looks like mental illness right there, honestly. I kind of, like, I don't even really want to, like, make fun of the guy. Because that, that, there's something really wrong there. You know what I mean? Either that or Andrew Tate brain rot is more severe than I thought initially. You know what I mean? It's just ego, not really mental illness. Well, when it gets to a certain point, I mean, he was saying stuff like, he was saying stuff like, in 2024, you will see my plan. It will all make sense then or something. That's not normal. I don't know what that is, but. Yeah, and it's still a mental illness if it's severe ego. Maybe manic episode. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to make fun of someone for that. Not my style. I played that. I can't believe that got raided. What is this? I mean, it's just it's just human nature is like to assign value to these numbers that we get. You know? Oh, I have so many subscribers. I must be some sort of genius. That's what it is. You know? And especially if you're not actually, you know... That much of a critical thinker all you have to see is that number and it's like bam right there also this is lagging really badly i don't think i want to play this one fog and also how we moving I, what the? This is cool. I like this a lot more already. Well, if it was meaning, if it meant to be genuinely helpful, he wouldn't make a course that's like five hundred dollars, whatever the hell. That is exploiting those who want to be like. Maybe he knew it was all in there. He just wanted the money. I don't know. 
There's a lot of people in chat, so sorry I can't get to everyone right now. And also, I'm just playing stuff, but we will have plenty of time to talk. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm not the gap in between this stream and the next stream is not going to be the same. You know what I mean? Wow, this is a really late click if this is what you do. That is wild, actually. This is hard. This is, yeah, this, if, yeah, if it continues like this, this is hella main list. Or is it just objectively main list like it is? Go to help. That makes sense. It's really cool thus far. I like it. Normally, I'm not a fan of these timing levels no more, but so far, this is bringing some interesting stuff to the table. We'll see if it continues to do that. Rock out mouth, thank you for the sub. It's a little flashy for my taste. Also, what? I can't do it. I like the song choice, though, for sure. This level. That's good usage of S trigger there. Levels are not shying away from the amount of inputs they want you to do now. Have you guys noticed that? Like, definitely you can see the meta shifting more towards keyboard players, the way that they have these inputs set up. A lot of faster, like, trigger inputs going on, for sure. Yeah, that's another thing I think. Like, Atomic Cannon, that is a keyboard player, like, uh, level right there, for sure. It's definitely the new thing. I don't know if I'd ever switch to keyboard for multiple reasons. This is pretty sick, actually. I'm a big fan of this so far. Oh, I wish it wouldn't lag so bad. What are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, it's sort of looking that way. But I mean, it doesn't really affect me because I've always been like, I'll play what I play. You know what I mean? But there's some levels I just won't be able to do probably anymore. But I think it's better for the meta to, to advance to what the players are doing. Just in general, right? Uh, this is lagging a bit too bad, but it's really cool. I should have put on Lodito. to an E percent. Dr. Abby, thank you for 100 bits. Why did I make a long bottom player? Oh. I don't know, it's a secret. You know? Could be anything. What's going on here? I'll remember to put on LDM in the future. That's a really cool level though. I liked it. I wish I'll, I'll probably watch a full thing of it later to play through later or something. Levels are definitely getting more spammy though. What? What was up there? I'm curious now. What the hell? What happens if you do this? <laughs> Bobbit, thank you for the sub. Oh, dodge that. What? You can't. No one's ever fitting through it here. Okay, what if we no clip past it? What's past it? Ow. Do you win? Yeah, I believe I don't I don't think you can pass that part. Interesting, interesting. I like random stuff like that. I don't think I'm getting on bridge later. I may... I don't know. I've, that's, I've been playing a decent amount of bridge since I got back. Although ping is pissing me off even more than it did when I left. For some reason. Maybe I'm just getting soft. Who knows. Thanks for the of bits. Whether or not I get on bridge is random. This level's pretty cool too. 
I think after a few more of these, I'll try to boot up Edge of Destiny, see if I can, see if I remember, you know, how to click a mouse in any way that matters. That's definitely not it. Can I still win? No. Can I play No Jokes? Yeah, I've seen him. I haven't played it, but I don't need to. I know what happened there. I've seen Beru's completion. There we go. All. This is kind of hard. Michael, think of the sub. Game over. This is all. This is weird. It's like almost like Citra. That was also weird. What am I playing? What? Yeah. What is? What is it doing out here? What the hell? Okay. Death effects. All right. Yeah. This is. Oh, that's not good. You never want to see the orbs appear under you like that. I don't think demons have ever been less sight readable than they are today. Like extreme demons. <laughs> like what? Like they were not always this way. Dim mode. Let's go in. How did this sink to anything? Though, right? <laughs> it's like Ocular Miracle drop gameplay. The song's just going bop bop. Yeah, this is, yeah, it's gotta be gnawing as hell. It's like, what is going on right now? Not up there. Rod trying to think of the sub. That's definitely not what's supposed to happen there. Yeah, this is like very like I don't know, the click patterns are so like Wazaretta like nowadays in like every level, if that makes sense. There's so much burst stuff going on. It's never I don't think it's ever really gonna be for me. I'm not I'm never like one of those like high CPS. Although there's one thing that interests me, but you'll, you'll see. Uh, wow, what the? What's going on here? What's going on here? What is this? <laughs> How do you control this part? That was bizarre. <laughs> Yoshi! Okay, yeah. That was weird. That was a weird one. Ketamine. Ketamine? Another Nong. I'm not doing that. Where is the one? Where is the one? This. This is what I was told to play. I mean. Why ketamine? I don't know what used to spider even means. You can't not be used to spider. Also, whoa. This is not a not an easy first part at all. Oh, there's a My ship skill is not ready. <laughs> Dude, this is actually I know it's not hard, but it, it feels so hard right now. Like I'm actually struggling hella right now. My ship skill is just gonzo. Alright, let's do it. It is really cool this far, actually. I like this, uh, the style and the gameplay. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like that. This is really cool, yeah. Where does the escape room part come in? I don't think it's literal, actually. I guess we'll just have to see that. Well, that's cool. 
Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I don't know what it is about wave gaps, like with these like spikes, but it looks so satisfying, doesn't it? I don't know. Oh, complete change of everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's not an easy jump, even a little bit. Whoa! Please tell me I can go over this. This is hard as hell! It has to be main. If this ain't main, then main is harder than... Probably like, low main, but it's still main. Up to here. It's 60? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Back in my day, this would have been top one, no question. Ow. Ow. Uh, 10 combos is 150. I thought it was already off, so. Zero actually for this, um, the ending of this looks brutal. I guess we'll see. Intimidating message, considering it's already been really hard. Hmm. Oh. Duh. This is really hard! I really like it though. I don't know if it's something I'd go for though, because I got stuff to do, but. Is it one of those? Or am I, am I just falling into it, you think? Oh, okay. I like those. Those are really fun. Even just doing a practice one, taking a good amount of concentration. I'm gonna, yeah. Going up. I'm so stupid. It's weird to think that I can do this. Like, like it feels impossible, but I know I could do it. You know what I mean? That's just the thing with GD. But like on a first play through, this feels impossible. No control live. Why would your dad be saying my name? Wow, this level's crazy. This is definitely one of Slave's best works for sure. Oh. I already played Knights of Thunder. Okay. Whoa. What? This ending is brutal. Whoa, what, whoa, what are we doing here? Wow, that's so messed up! This is only 60? Pull some charity, thank you for the sub. Oops, I wanna go up there, huh? Where are you, thank you for the sub. Overrated? How? Really this, overrated?
This would take me eight months to beat, I think. New heart is right here. What? Wow. This is really wow. Even this is not not easy at all. That's so hard. Is that actually straight up 60? How? That's so BS. Yeah, but even. Uh. No, 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 no. I need to find what I want to play. This one. Yes. I want to play this. Let's go. Remember we did this before for many, many times? This looks easier than what we were just playing. It definitely is, like, look at this, so easy. No prior experience. Hopefully the muscle memory still, yeah, I don't know. I don't, it's been so long. I might just be ass now forever. That part kills me. God, it's been so long since I played this. How's the volume of everything? Is it fine? Is my mic fine and everything? I don't know. I just kind of hit the button eventually. I was like, and go. Well, 1014 is what that is. Sometimes my game just, I mean, always my game tabs out at 1014. I don't know why. Pretty cool, right? I know, yeah. Yeah, it's super cool. I'm lagging so bad. We need to we need to fix some settings. Like close this, close this. Turn this off. Tell me if my preview messes up ever. Thanks. We think it's Steel Series. That's our best guess. Yeah, it's a pro guy. I think it's Steel Series. It's 1014 for me, too. That's why it happened. So much harder now <laughs> than it was. I had to think, like, you know, I, I just had to think so much more consciously about everything. Like, what is it I want to do at any specific point? Man. Yes, game IMO. Yeah, let's see how much I remember. Has to upload ever. Yeah, soonish. I just need to do some things. It's a 4 a.m. for anyone else. Y'all, now that it's summer, y'all are just up, and I get it because I am too. Man, I can't be 100% the streamer I want to be right now. Not even like, 
You know I don't fake energy. You know I don't do that. We do not fake energy around here. I refuse to do it. So, I'm just not my 100% energy yet after all that. And that's all there is. You know what I mean? Like, one day I'll be back to full energy after I recover from everything. We just ain't there yet. We just ain't there yet. And I ain't putting on a, a an extra layer to my enthusiasm if it's not there. If that's weak sauce. I can't pull an all-nighter. I can, but it's like, it breaks everything more than if it's already broken. It's like, actually useless. Everyone is always like, just pull an all-nighter and you can fix your sleep schedule. Just do it one time. No. It makes things worse. My body doesn't even know what time it is anymore. It's like XX, XX PM. It's like not even a real time anymore. My body doesn't know what sleep is. And then I'm up for 50 hours and I can't do anything about it. Doesn't work. That's... Only, people who actually have circadian rhythms can say that. You know what I mean? Everyone has circadian rhythms, okay? Everyone has some level where they get more energy in some part of the day. But that doesn't mean that everyone's works correctly at all. Yeah, I'm I'm grand champion, you know what I mean, sir. Yeah. Lots of fireworks out here. Lots of fireworks. It was uh at least n none of them happened when I was sleeping, so I'm pretty happy about that. I feel bad for my dog. We all we all feel bad for our dog in that regard. <laughs> some dogs don't care, some dogs do, it's a whole thing. How can I not fall asleep after an all-nighter? Uh, I don't know. You know, we don't even know why we need sleep. Like, at all. Like, we know kind of why. We know what it does when we do it, but we don't know why we sleep. Like, scientifically speaking. We just simply need, need to, I guess. Yeah, because with that, it would be sleepy. No, trust me, you can, you can do, you want, you want to see, go do your research for yourself, figure out why we sleep. You ain't going to find a clear answer. You'll find reason, I mean, you'll find things that it does and helps with, but you're not going to find why, why we actually need to do it. You won't do it. I hate sleep. I love dreaming, but I hate sleeping. Oh my god. What? My dream last night was so weird. I was like... So I went to this like, this like, I don't know, some establishment where you can get like fruit drinks and stuff like that. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted. So I, but I, they had like something called banana milk on sale. And I was like, that sounds good. I'm going to order the banana milk. And... Now this, I, I, the reason I didn't wake up is because my alarm for the day became the music of the establishment I was in. So I didn't wake up because for some reason, like, because I have by the seaside as my alarm. So by the seaside just became the, became the music on the speakers. 
instead of waking me up. So I was just like, oh, I guess this is what it sounds like in here. The cheap. Uh, I don't know if I should say that. I think of the sub. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe because I don't know what it's gonna sound like when it exits my mouth. So it was like this became the music of the place, and I was like, okay, I guess. And then I went to a table, and I was waiting for them to 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 finish the banana milk. And I was like, all right, let's let him do it. And it wasn't happening for so long that I started to get bored. And then my brain was like, hey, you want to do something cool? And it was like, here, go to this middle area that's in between where you're awake and where you're asleep. And here's all the settings you can edit. And I was like, what do you mean? And it was like, it like, it showed me this like phone device, but it wasn't like my phone. It was like, kind of like um, the Legend of Zelda. What are they, what, what, what are they called in that game? Like the, the, the tablet that Link has. I don't know what the hell it's called. The Sheikah Slate. Yay, I had a goddamn Sheikah Slate, and it was like, here are some stats. You are 40% in between waking up and staying asleep. You are, you know, currently doing about this. Banana milk progress, 30%. And it was like, there was all these settings that I could, like, edit and stuff like that. And it was like, you're in the middle area. And then it was like, when you're done editing settings, you can go back to your, you can go back to the dream. And I could, like, hop in between back and forth of those two places. And so it was like, all these stat things and it was like some of the stats made no sense literally like they made sense to start but at the bottom it was like likelihood you would win a chess game if this was the setting of the chess game and it was like 80 percent i was like okay cool setting interesting like it, it, it just it started getting stupid the stuff <laughs> the stuff it was showing me and i was like okay whatever and then a banana milk complete so i teleported back i drank my banana milk and then i walked out the door and just woke up normally and i was like okay Weird. <laughs> no, I have not. Jack, thank you for the gift sub. Weird. It was weird. It was weird. It was weird. Very weird. I would indeed have some banana milk if I had it. Sounds pretty goddamn good. All things considered, right? Yeah, matters why. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. I don't know how to play this game no more, or this part anyway. It's foreign to me now. Thoughts on $200? I was just thinking about $200 because that's how much I need to buy a wooding, but I can't justify that purchase. And I just cleaned my keyboard. So I think once, once my Apex breaks, then I'll buy a wooding. I don't think I need to rush into it as much as I want to experiment with it. I just cleaned my Apex Pro. It's doing really good for me right now. I don't know why I would throw that. Mythical Noodles, thank you for the sub. Buy Corsair K70. I don't play GD on a keyboard. I play Mania on a keyboard. I play Celeste on a keyboard. Speaking of Mania, it's so hard! God, you rust so quick in that game and you can't fix it that easily. You know what I'm saying? Fixing Rust and Mania is a Herculean level task. It's so much, yeah. Oh, it's on hand jacks? You mean like wrist jacks? Because I can't wrist jack. I can only finger jack, and that's why I can't do anything. That right there is why I can't do anything. Yo, what's up, Kyler? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a lot. There's a lot that happened, as you can imagine. It's no, you know, not a simple event. I saw Mario. I did that's something I did. I, I went to Bowser's Castle. I've seen Bowser's Castle now. That was pretty cool. That was one of those things where it's like, that's not real. But I guess it's happening. Yeah, literally two days. The best karma they give us a sub. Look, I've got, so, I've got so much to say about Japan, but it's like, I don't know, because it's like, here's the problem. 
I could tell you all right now, I could spend the next five hours just going into detail, everything. But then people that I would want to tell the stories to would ask again. And then it's like, oh no, I don't want to keep repeating it my whole life. And I don't know how to, how to disperse this information in a way where I get to explain it the least amount of times. I've been up to Acadia, yeah. That's in Maine, right? My dog loved it. Kaziki, thank you for the sub. Thoughts on kick? Uh, I don't like it, and I don't like what they do there. This may sound a bit controversial, and not everyone's gonna agree with me, but I don't think gambling actually does have a place on Twitch. I think that, or on in streaming in general, I don't think gambling is something that should be streamed. Which is one of my more, uh, I don't know, it's one of my more not, quote unquote, acceptable opinions. But gambling addiction is super serious. I've seen people struggle with it. I mean, I guess, I mean, it's easily act accessible one way or another. I just, I don't know. Makes me uncomfortable. Wow, guys. Would you look at that? So hard. No! One of the main, um, one of the main reasons people switched over to, uh, Kick is because you were allowed to gamble there, you are allowed to do gambling streams, and kind of say whatever you wanted, that's why you got people like Aiden Ross over there. Oh yeah, I saw it. That had the the new Super Mario Bros. game, right? Also, or is there another direct after that one? I've seen the new Mario Kart tracks, and I've seen the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Looks so hype. I know it's not like what everyone's gonna be excited for. A lot of people are just gonna be like, "Oh, a 2D Mario game? Who cares about that?" I am there. I never thought Nintendo would make another 2D game ever again. Like, seriously, I never thought. I am there, bro. That's great to me. I'm super hyped about that. It almost looks like psychedelic in nature they're going for or something, which, I mean, I can't say I'm opposed to that. I like that direction. Let's see what they do with it. Yeah, it is basically based off Ella. I mean, look at it. Now, Nintendo's no stranger to that concept, but they haven't done it in a long time. I mean, look back, like, touch fuzzy, get dizzy, right? So they, they've definitely experimented with, like, trippier effects. So I, I trust them to, to make it happen, like, in a, in a good way. I'm, I'm really excited for that. And it's not even that far away. It's pretty... Oh, right. It's Prince of Puzzle. Oh, yeah. Super Paper Mario. You could that, you could have an acid trip that's basically that. Like, I could, I could believe it. If you were Mario and everything was in your life in that exact format, not completely out of the question there. About how long it would feel also, I'd imagine. Dude, I can press a button and then flip into another dimension and then move around in there. Like, dude.
Oh yeah, we love Galaxy. Yeah, they're like 12 hours. Oldest command of all time. Although I ain't doing nothing, like, I ain't doing no substances for a while, though, y'all. Because I, um, I'll tell you a little bit of what's going on. I was, uh, so you know how airplanes happen? You guys remember airplanes? Ever been in an airplane before? So what they, how they work is they start on the ground, and then they go up here, and then they go down again. And another fact you may or may not know about is air pressure exists, so... What happens is, when you go down, your ears have to equalize. I know, isn't this crazy stuff, guys? I mean, I can't believe how smart we all are. Um, it's crazy, yeah. And um, when you go down in the airplane, the pressure, normally your ears is cleared out. But guess what? What if your ears are so congested that they don't clear out when you go down? I've never known pain like that before, y'all. That sucked. I was going down on the airplane, my ears couldn't clear. Jesus Christ. Thank you for the 500 bits, Deniscus. No problem. I'm glad you enjoy this. Yeah, literally. Yeah. The first time it happened, I got a migraine and I couldn't, I didn't remember where I was, what was going on. Cause I think there's pressure on my brain. Cause um, just the raw pressure that was going on. And I was like, wow, this is the worst, huh? It's about as worst as it could ever get, ever. Yeah. And uh, so I, on the descent trip, I did that. And then I was kind of feeling okay for the next day, even though, like, everything was all messed up. And then it just started getting worse. And then it, like, it, like, climaxed when I did something that, like, I know gives me a bit of sinus congestion. But, like, normally it doesn't matter that much, right? Actually, I'm gonna try. Guys, let's try now. Oh, damn it. I feel like the problem with this mouse is like, I'm clicking like here, like in the middle, but I don't know if it actually matters, but I can't extend my finger long enough. Yeah, this was a problem in scuba class, actually. And we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to this because my theory list has been greatly expanded Why would a random lifeguard know who I was? Good job trying. Shut up. Shut up with you. Permanent ban next time you chat ever. Even if it's a good message. I'm kidding. Click higher. I'm trying. But it's not so simple. My brain doesn't remember form. Anyway. Anyway. I was talking. I was talking. Uh, right. So... So I did something that I didn't know if it was going to make my sinuses worse or not. It did, but I didn't realize my sinuses were at like 99%. Like it wasn't like, it like I, I was on the tipping point, you know what I mean? And um, what happened was, like this was a few days after, the pain I experienced, I thought it was the end for me. I mean that. Like literally there was so much pressure, I thought it was the end. Like there was no more next day. Because it was like, there was so much pressure behind my eyes. It felt like my eyes were going to pop out of their head. And then there's so much pressure on my ears. And whenever I swallowed my, um, what is the tube called? As to whatever. I can, I can type it. It's like the Astuchian tube or something. I don't know what the, no, I, there's some term. <laughs> I don't know what. It's not esophagus. It's the, there's a tube in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you pronounce that? Is it a stashy, eustachian, eustachian tube? Either way, it was so, so that's the, uh, that's the tube that keeps your, um, that's the, uh, that's the tube that keeps your ear pressure, uh, consistent with the rest of your body. And it was so congested that any time that I swallowed, like, it was like a ray of pain went from here like, all the way up to my head, all the way down to my throat. I thought I was the end. I was like, oh, I guess this is it. There's no more for me. Like, I've never felt pain like that. Oh, my God. 
I was, I literally, like, I, I, I wanted to pass out so bad. Because, like, I was seeing purple and everything. Because I think there's pressure on my brain and everything. Luckily, I didn't, it looks like I didn't suffer any brain damage. But, like, wow. Um, yeah, this all happened as a result of me going back from Japan. I'm not getting on a plane for a very long time until this gets sorted, by the way. In case that wasn't clear. Um, I was like... I was like, damn. So I, I, I felt like I had to pass. I started chugging water. Like literally, I was actually like, cause I, it was so bad. Uh, the pain, I, I had vomited everything up. So there wasn't anything left in me. So I just started, I just started chugging water. I know I couldn't eat anything for a while. And eventually the congestion finally dipped below a hundred again and I could breathe. And I was like, wow, that was mental. Like I've never, I've never, I literally thought that was it, y'all. Oh, cool. It was crazy. Um, so anyway, why am I saying all this? Well, uh, I saw like this whole, yeah. Did you go to the doctor? Yeah, we're working on it. I'm going to see my ear, nose, and throat doctor on the 17th. So I just got to get to there. And I'm start I'm feeling better, so. But I always get sick. Here's the next thing I wanted to bring up because I've been thinking about that too. Why do I always get sick? I think we might finally get some answers soon because my parents bestowed the knowledge upon me that my my grandpa had super bad sinus issues, like unexplainable. There was surgery they did to fix it, but they had he had like super bad sinus issues. And now that time is passing, I'm like, okay, so I'm always sick. My mucus is always super thick and it's always causing me stomach pain and everything like that. What if it's not just allergies, you know? And now that I'm thinking that, there's a few things that might be, and I think it's gonna end up being genetic. I think it skipped generations and it, it went to me. What's the worst pain that I ever had? I think it was that, that I just described. Cause I literally thought I was gonna die. And I, I'm not like a, I'm not one to like over, uh, dramatize those things because I've been through a lot of pain but I legit thought that was it like I thought I was dead like the fact that I am alive is crazy I could have almost I, I I don't know it was wild I think more likely than not if the pressure kept building I would have just I think my eardrum would have ruptured yeah that was worse than the okay the not eating thing lasted for like so much longer but like I didn't, I, I didn't think I was actually gonna die. Like I wanted to die, but I didn't think the result of the pain was going to cause me to die. You know what I mean? If that makes sense, like I just thought that was it, and I was like, God damn, wild. That's hard as hell. That I freak out while on the plane. I don't freak out. Like, not even in any sort of, like, I'm better than that way. I just, it's not a, it's not how I go about those experiences. I'll give you guys a tip. If you're ever going through pain so bad, you think it'll, like, it'll never end. Hey, Logan. I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly what you can do to stop worrying about it. Because as you can see, like, yeah, I'm shaken up, but I'm not, like, it wasn't, I'm okay. You know what I mean? Eventually, it's just like, you know, you make it to another day, you make it to an... Actually, let me try. No! Come on, bro. Come on! Alright, that was pretty good. I mean, hey, right? Yeah, I don't, okay, uh, here's the tip, and it's this, this tip will change everything if you, if you're like, if you deal with stuff and you know, like, you're gonna be fine, if you've already gotten the appropriate help you need, all you have to do is make it to the next moment, it's that simple, you ignore the long term, you make it to the next moment, you're like, okay, right now, I feel like this, but let's make it one second from now, and then you make it another second, and then the, the goal resets, you're not like, what's gonna happen to me in five hours, there's no five hours, there's the next second, that's what's happening. You are gonna make it to the next second, and then when you get to the next second, then you will make it to the next second after that. And you're just gonna keep doing that. And if you keep doing that, you're not gonna go into like, you're not gonna have a panic attack over it. 
because you're not thinking about the long term. You don't want to think about the long term. Unless you haven't gotten the appropriate help you need. Because then you want to be like, you want to call friends or something. You need to get the help you need. But you use this. You need to, you need to do this if you're not doing it. So I made it to the end and it's like, all right, I'm not dead. Move on. This is too hard, this part. We need to nerf. So anyway, I think I have some sort of genetic sinus disorder and looking, doing research, I think it's probably gonna be atypical cystic fibrosis. I think it's it right there. That would explain everything. Literally every symptom I've ever had would instantly fall into the category if it makes sense. See, Sluggy, thank you for the sub. Literally every single symptom that I've ever experienced in my life. If it was atypical cystic fibrosis, which isn't super common, but it still happens, and I think my grandfather had it, then I think that would explain everything. It would explain why I have unplaceable stomach pain that no one can explain, why I have crazy acid reflux for not having that bad of an acid reflux issue. They checked all these systems, they haven't found anything. But if the mucus was harder and not digesting well, then guess what? then it would cause a lot of those symptoms. Also, the gurgling in my stomach when I run, the, that doesn't make any sense. The only sense that would make is if my mucus was harder and it was harder to digest. So when I generated more of it, it wasn't clear. It wasn't a clear liquid. So it was getting all clogged up in there while I was running around. If I don't have these proper systems, all of a sudden, things start making more sense. It would make more sense why I can never clear my ears ever or why I always have congestion issues no matter what. It makes sense why my dog licks my face so much because like more than anyone else because I have I would then be producing more salt. Because when you have that when you have that condition you produce more salt and you have and I've always wondered why dogs lick my face so much. What if it's literally because of that? So all of a sudden everything is pointing. It's like these, there's these giant red arrows pointing to this one thing. And I'm not self-diagnosing here, obviously. I'm going to see the doctor. But I don't think there's any harm in talking about what I think it is. And I know it's a genetic disorder. I know. So, when it comes to genetic disorders that affect sinuses... Is there treatment? Well, my grandfather got treatment to help his sinuses move better. So that's what I've been up to. And then, you know what? If it actually is, and I can get a surgery to help fix this, then I'd actually be able to do things with my life instead of just spend a month in pain and doing nothing. And wouldn't that be good? I'm not, I'm not optimistic because I'm never optimistic. I'm just, we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? But I really do think I might get some actual answers here. It would just explain so many things. Because here's the thing, a lot of people, because I, I have pretty bad autism, like I'm not gonna lie y'all. You know, I'm not, a lot of people have speculated that a lot of my issues have been because I've been like, kind of dramatizing them in my head psychologically, but I've never felt that way about it. Like yeah, pain can be, I don't even feel like I have a bad pain tolerance at all. I just don't believe that and like, but I mean, I, I've always accepted what people said, because I kind of thought that for all, because I was like, if they said it so much, you know, maybe they know better than me. But there's so many symptoms, like, I can't psychologically convince my ears to clog permanently. It's just not really, like, a thing that works that way. So that, that was, like, a big uh, eye-opener for me when I started thinking about it like that. But I'm, I'm not going to promise activity anymore, honestly. I'm not going to promise activity anymore because uh, I don't know what the future is going to hold. But if 
I do find this and then I get surgery to fix it, then I'll be active again 100% because I'll be able to. I, have, I just haven't been able to for like a year now. But I can't promise. I don't know. For all I know, we could determine what it is and it could still be getting worse and there's nothing I can do about it. That could also be true. But just like how I'm not optimistic about stuff, I'm not pessimistic about it either. If I have some like terminal thing that's getting worse and this is how it is, then it's what it is, right? It just doesn't, I don't know. All I can know is what's happening to me right now. And I'm just gonna keep, I, I you know, I make these appointments, we see what happens. Quaven, thank you for the sub. And whatever happens, happens. And that is the whole kit and caboodle right there, my friends. Thank you for letting me ramble about that. I don't want to make this all about, oh, look how much, all oh, the pain and this and this, but, you know. I just wanted to say all that. To have it be said. Is your birthday tomorrow? Happy birthday soon. How old? Are you an old head? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be 21 in like 15 days. Lol? You're not an old head, young head. Young head. Not a term. Yep, 21 in like 15 days. Lol. Oh, easy. Oh my God. Actually, I don't know why I'm being sarcastic. This is pretty good. I mean, hey, I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, this, this ain't bad. Exact mistake. Same. Literally same. Ex oh my god, bro. Oh, I don't want to play this part. This part sucks. And no, I'm not. I don't. Yes, I'm just bad at it. It's the truth. It's not actually a bad part. But it's hard. Guys, come on. Hard. Yeah, it's a hard part. But yeah, I'm gonna be 21, which changes nothing. Yo, last person Alex, thanks for the raid. What are we up to? Dead of Destiny. I don't know. I just I I haven't played in a long time now, so I don't know. But it's going better than I thought it would. I didn't think it was gonna go this well, really. Yeah, we're moving decent. We're moving decent. I stream what? <laughs> it's like the one, the one like Jim Jones guy, but me instead, and a much, much less effective method. Yeah, we getting back into it, you know. It's GD, so I probably am actually de-rusting fast because it's just GD. In some, some other games, you get to like you get a, you get a whole Dunning Kruger going on. You know, you start out and you're like, "Oh, this game isn't as hard as I remember it being," and then it's like, "Oh wait, I can't do anything."
GD's hard to rust on. It's either Benadryl, Bauxite, or Baking... What a great disparity between... I think you could just straight up drink baking soda if you put it in water, right? I can't remember. I don't think it's toxic, but I could just be wrong. Yeah, well, let's have some more time of experiment. It's not toxic or it is toxic? I don't know why you would want to. Actually, I remember it having some effect that doesn't suck. But I don't know, I'm pulling at the, the very, like, the back, back, back of my mind. Oh, it can neutralize the stomach because it's a base, right? And it's a base and it's actually safe to drink. Or ingest, I don't know, you dissolve it, I think. When your friends try tripping off of Advil? Nope. Fail. We gotta walk through the shower, but I didn't. I appreciate the self restraint, I guess. How's mm -hmm. health with heartburn? Yeah. Is that neutralizing some assets not good for you? It's definitely not not good for you if you have those issues. Yeah, bases are not safe to drink. I mean, I'm saying it's a it's a it's a digestible base as opposed to like like ammonia. Or whatever, I think. I think ammonia's a base. I don't remember what's a base in an acid. Milk is not a base? No, milk is definitely acidic, right? I mean, it's definitely close to, like... Isn't 7 in the middle, or is it 8? I think it's 7. Seven's normal acidity. Seven? Okay. Yeah, yeah so just a bit more acidic than water. Well, okay, yeah, it's acidic, but it's creamy. So that's why, because I, I bet when now you're thinking, well, base cool stomach acid, so it must be smooth. You know what I mean? Because like I, I can kind of hear, I can kind of hear that. Do we drink any bases? Like, do we? Is there anything we drink on the regular that's like a base? Because I feel like almost everything is acidic that we drink that isn't water. I mean, I know it's barely aesthetic, but still more so than, like, water. Because acidic doesn't mean that it's going to instantly dissolve everything in it. Does your throat burn and, like, die forever when you drink orange juice, even though it's very acidic? Piglet, thank you for the sub. No one drinks soap. That's like, that's, that, that's like a right-wing nut job COVID prevention measure. Oh, acidic is like vinegar? Probably like, probably like a three. Like it's probably pretty damn acidic. Well, no, 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 no. Well, okay, there's two types of right-wing nut jobs. There's the ones that don't think COVID's real, and then there's the ones that are like, the vaccine doesn't work, and then they try to come up with their own solution, 
And that solution can be drinking bleach, which some did actually legitimately try. The most acidic, I mean, the most basic beverage we drink is vodka, and it's only 0.1 more than water? Wow. We really don't go to that end, do we? Our body's not meant to handle faces. Yeah, 2.2 is wild. Coca-Cola? Okay, yeah. That stuff is terrible for you. Stop drinking soda. I command it. Find a new beverage like water. Just keep drinking water. I bet you'd all be better off. Look, there's a graph, okay? There's a graph out there. And the graph goes from how bad it is for you, and the other axis is what is the, like, what, what are you getting out of it? Like, does it taste really good? Is it worth it? Does it, like, make you feel good? Like, what are the effects? And this is graph, and it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like, depending on where you go on the graph. Like, water isn't fun to drink, so it's a zero, but it's really good for you. So it's also a zero, so it's safe, and this is, like, the safe zone. And then as it goes further this way, my head is, like, the line, I guess. I don't know why I did it like that. You know, there's like some line heater and they pass that line. You shouldn't do it anymore. You know? I don't know why I made my face, my head, that is the... Uh... The line there. Oh, this is easy. What? You're a new follower. Welcome to the Napesta Nation. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Will he ever post more? I don't know. Because my ears are my ears are all clogged, by the way. So whenever I talk, my ears are cracking. You know what I mean? They're crackling like a bad connection. I agree with italicized bra. I'm going to stand with that message today. Nope, this didn't get any harder. I did it too good! Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I don't want to go to no subway, bro. I don't want to go to no subway. Someone's got to fix this. I don't know. I don't know how. But there ain't nothing else to do. I swear there's not.
If I stop shooting right now, I could go to Wegmans, but I'm not gonna do that. DoorDash it? No. I'm not gonna do that. I don't have food to make either. And I, I, what do you want me to do? Go to Wegmans to get more? Because I can't. You think I have food in the fridge? You know I don't. Why can't I go to Wegmans right now? Because I'm streaming. I didn't get food before because I was messing around with Clyde. That's why I didn't do it. Look, okay. All right, guys. You want to listen to Yosh? Do you want me to stop the stream after one hour? Are we done? Because I, I kind of want to keep going. But who's Clyde? You have no idea. Yeah, the Discord Clyde. New AI Discord Clyde thing. I, it's, it's insane. What did I say to it? I said everything to it. So I got, shut up, I got, I got my texture pack from, please don't say the same message a million times in a row, please. You can just look up my texture pack on YouTube, please. It's just, sometimes I get annoyed when I see the same message over and over again, and I don't really want to respond to it. The 200 is like every time I'm going to the so it's like... I guess, I don't know why I'm here now, I guess we're just going? I never really had a growth spurt, I just kind of slowly... I just kind of slowly got taller. Maybe when I was 12. Well, I was eating so much food, but I was also running all the time, so. Yeah, Blade of Justice is probably... Well, I mean, the thing is, like, it's the same with, like, Bloodbath being way easier after Bloodlust. Like, yeah, it is, but, like, the, a lot of the click patterns are different. Oh, yeah, I've got, like, permanently strong legs because of all the running I did as a kid. On average, in Japan, we walked for, like, I'd say on average, like, five miles a day. No issue there. And the walking was not an issue. Very grateful for my, what I did. Glad you can think of the sub. Yeah, I'm the same way. I've had doctors say I'm 6'3 and 6'2. I'm definitely in, like, somewhere in there. I don't know where. Because I'm, like, on the fence somewhere. It depends if they round up or down. Your doctor's four for four. Wow. Yeah, my brother's a rower, so he does a lot of leg stuff as well. Sixty-five, seventy-five is already pretty stupidly low though as a resting heart rate like the average person's resting heart rate is probably like 85 to 90 from what i've seen 
My re because I did a lot of running, my resting heart rate's like 50 flat. Wow, that was awesome though. I mean, hey, I, I died, but getting to the cube? That's no, that's no joke right there, that's pretty solid. The hell? What drugs are you doing to get your heart rate to 48? That's a lot of pill depressants, but I guess. Yeah. Yeah, one of the main reasons why uh, my sinuses and stuff weren't questioned in the way I'm questioning now them now so soon is because my lungs aren't actually that bad. Those, like, the systems in my lungs work out really well. And usually when people are looking for really serious sinus issues, they look at whether or not, um, whether or not you can breathe. But my lungs have always been really healthy. I think a lot in part because I ran so much. I have really good lungs. Brass loss, thank you for the sub. Yeah, I can hold my breath for a super long time. That's like a wild dream. Yeah, I wonder if, yeah, if COVID didn't happen, I may have actually gotten answers a lot sooner. The best thing is like 100 is that bad. Do you work out? Because I'd definitely recommend it if you're, 100 is pretty high. Yeah, I think the more overweight you are, on average, the higher your heart rate's gonna end up. Because, uh, you might have more blood. Uh, they're like, your part of your body might need more blood to pump it through. It might take longer. It's gotta get... It takes longer to get to where you... Just people that are bigger in general, not even, like, like, you know, obese or anything. Just people that have more to them usually have, uh, higher heart rates. Because, you know, a heart rate is just it's pumping the blood through all the main systems. That's also why um, it's specifically runners that have the lower heart rates because uh, a lot of the time when you're doing other sports that have you build this like toned muscle, then there's more of you. Which running, you don't really develop stuff like that. Runners are usually pretty small, you know what I mean? That's why other cardio related sports that doesn't happen as much. The resting heart rate doesn't influence how much nerves are gonna... Yeah, they have a stronger cardiovascular system, for sure. Um, your resting isn't gonna influence how much it's gonna go up by when you get nervous. I don't think.
I think I'm gonna do a video uh, soon where I go to the gym. Not the gym. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work out my my body, my upper body every day after I after I go figure out what's up with my sinuses and see if that makes me better at things. So I'm really curious because I haven't found a good answer to that question. Like, people obviously say, yes, it will help you to some extent, but they never explain to what extent, and I want to actually, like, put that to the test. Okay. I'm not really, uh, interested in building, um, like, physical, like, you see it muscle, though. You know what I mean? I do want to get stronger, though, for the sake of seeing if it makes me better at some of my hobbies. But I doubt I'm gonna, like... I, I doubt I'm just gonna start, like, chugging protein stuff and everything like that. It depends on how much that influences, like, how much you actually get stronger by, though. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, protein's important to build muscle of any kind. Uh, but, I mean, dude, anyone who knows anything about exercise knows there's definitely, you know... There's a difference between working out to get stronger and working out to gain more physical you see in muscle. Yeah, just due to the due to the stuff I did, especially as a kid, I'm definitely I'm definitely stronger than I look. Uh, cause I, I kind of look like a complete twig, but I I still have some power in me, so I'm not starting from zero. Is all I'm saying. Hardest I've ever laughed was. It's hard to say. I've said before, I think it may have been uh, when I was like 16 and me and uh, Eli Gizbro, uh, we were, I was on my phone late at night, which already, you know, that sets the, that sets the vibe right there. And um, we were talking because he was still up because he was three hours behind me at the time because he was on the other coast. And we were just talking about various topics that we found funny, uh, stuff he learned in school, stuff like that. And then the next day, um, Eli's phone got, like, gave me a notification. Like, hey, look, we have a new movie for you. And we were like, what is that? What is a movie? What does that mean? And it, put like, put together random videos and, like, photos that he had taken on his phone and put them together in, like, a movie. And it, like, put a song in the background. And it was, like a perfectly comedic timing compilation of like the funniest possible things you could ever place next to each other in a row just randomly generated by a phone me i couldn't stop laughing i was literally laughing for like two hours and my mom had to come down downstairs and tell me to knock it off because i was laughing so hard it was like the most insane random generation thing i've ever seen in my life actually completely shocking Halfway through the, halfway through the the real uh, image like pops up like a goofy ass transition. I can't show you. I don't even know where it is. Um, some goofy ass transition pops up, and then when it's done, I'm there and I'm going like this. And it's it, I don't know why, but it was like I, no one could have ever expected me to appear in this compilation video that was being formed, especially at that time. It was legendary. I mean, it was really legendary. I mean, I haven't. That was one for the books, one might say. Yeah, I've, I've woke up from a dream laughing before. The, the I am the Florig thing, Walter White said. It's funny. Uh, I've, said, I've said this, everything I've, I'm saying here, I've said before to some extent. Uh, there was this one... There was this one comedy routine by this guy named, like, Nate Bargatsky or something. And he told this bit about this guy that... Uh, you know how every hotel's got that waffle maker? 
he was telling a bit of how about there was like this giant line for the waffle maker and this guy just starts putting syrup in the waffle maker and closes it and it causes like the thing to set on fire and malfunction and the whole line had to be shut down and like the way he told that bit i was fighting for air the whole time it was so funny puckle think of the sub i think i don't want to beat old blade of justice uh not a whole lot of motivation for it i think Pretty cool though. Especially with something like this out though. I don't know if it really matters. Okay, here's a question. How long are you sleeping each night, Super CSX? Cause if you're just sleeping for like six hours a night, it's not gonna happen to you. You need to you need to eight to nine hours and you're still not getting it. Wow. Do you dream at all? Like, have you ever dreamt? Because there's some people who have, like, I don't know. I remember my dreams. I I don't know why. So you do dream. Yeah, I, I do I do some more research. It's a shame it's not working out for you. Uh, what what we're referring to, if you're if you're not caught up, is the the uh, the trick of having like insanely vivid dreams if you wake up like three hours before you actually want to wake up. And then you go. Yeah, it, it really, like, you're actually just, like, you're messing with your code so hard when you do that. Like, and then you go back to sleep, and it's just, like. My main tip is, uh, move it to, like, maybe try one hour before you want to wake up. Yeah, I know a lucid dream. Alright, it's sort of hard to describe, because I never really do anything myself, but I'm always... Like, nowadays, I'm always conscious of being in a dream, but I find it more fun to just let my dream play out as opposed to me trying to control everything. I like just going with the flow of it because my brain often has this, like, something way funnier than I could ever possibly think of, and it's just going to form it randomly if I just let it go and just kind of move with it, you know what I mean? So, like, sometimes I'll try to control it and do this and this, but I've always been kind of wanting to just go with the flow. That sounds wild. <laughs> you went out prison and Scott the Waz told me to escape. Were you watching him before you went to bed? Because I've had simple flips up here in my dream for the same reason. I was just watching him right before I went to sleep. That's happened a lot. My brain will very often load in, like it has like a set amount of objects it can load. It can like load my friends in sometimes, and it. But it depends the kind of dream I'm having, like how accurate they're really gonna be. Because sometimes they're kind of blank, you know, they're just kind of there. Sometimes you could get like, sometimes you could like generate a friend with so much accuracy, you could just talk to them in full detail, and it's just a normal conversation. It's crazy. Yeah, the dream is so boring, you just woke up. I swear, I've been there too. I, sometimes I get stuck in a plane and nothing's happening. And I'm just like, all right, next. And then nothing next happens. I'm like, fine, I'll just wake up. Goddamn. Stupid. A lot of people think like shrooms and stuff like that are like, there's no way the human brain could just do that. But I, I mean, I don't know, man. I've had some weird dreams. I'm not, I think the brain is a more powerful tool than we give it credit for sometimes. It's just very often we stay within these bounds of what's, you know, normal. But if you, if you remove the restrictions for a little while, I mean, the brain is, it's crazy. It's really wild what it can do. You can't uh, dream on shrooms usually.
because all of those pathways are being open for your conscious self as opposed to the uh, unconscious for some reason. Don't know why. <laughs> this is a big game. <laughs> I really like the conclusion to that. Yeah, I don't think it lets you go into REM. That's a good theory. I don't I don't know. I don't know the actual scientific. I just know what I know, you know. <laughs> the big game. <laughs> That's so funny. Nah, you can tell when a dream is made up. I don't know what it is about it. But if you've had weird dreams, it's pretty obvious like what happened and what didn't. Some stuff you just can't make up yourself like that. Like, like that's not like the big game and that's what it does. Like that's not something you just create consciously. That is random neurons firing at its finest right there. That's all it is. It's just random neurons firing and then brain's like, what does this mean? Let's try to figure it out, I guess. Yeah, you can't willingly lose control of reason while being conscious, unless you have some sort of psychotic disorder, of course. In which case, unfortunately, it's either you have control over it or you don't. You can't just, like, switch back and forth like that without, you know, some help, so to speak. It'd probably be like TV static, where we couldn't do anything, because we there's so much information happening that we couldn't comprehend anything. If I had to guess. <laughs> what the hell? What? <laughs> That's crazy. I love like dream sagas. Those are so real. Dream sagas are great. Like, you continue a dream. Yeah, same just, like, nonsense. Like, we don't really know what's actually happening here. You know, I don't actually have a whole lot of recurring dreams myself. I've had some sagas. But I haven't had a lot of dreams that are, like, the same as the... Like, I haven't, like, had... I keep having this repeating dream or anything. Honestly, you'd be surprised if you have recurring dreams of a similar topic. It's because your subconscious, like, I don't want to say it's trying to tell you something because that's too much of like a oversimplification. But your your subconscious is thinking about something really hard. Let's put it that way. You know what I mean? It's thinking about it really hard, and you're just not consciously thinking about it as much as your subconscious is. If that makes any sense. I think hippies are going to be popular again, actually. That's my that's my 10-year prediction of the world. I think we're getting trippy with it again. No. Yeah, trends tend to recycle and it's just the way the way things are going right now. Yeah, new research is finally happening. All of a sudden it's becoming legal in all these places, all these different types of stuff. Ugh. 
I know. Sometimes I do stuff in video games so much that, like, in in real life, I try to do it for a fraction of a second. I have, on multiple occasions, in real life, been walking and tried to use F5 like I was in Minecraft. To, like, look behind me instead of actually turning around. Honestly, lucid dreaming was like a process I did try to do, but once me and my subconscious like really got to know each other, if that makes any sense, not not as if it's not me, but like what's talking is me. You know what I mean? What I'm feeling is usually my subconscious. Once I like really figured out that part of me, all of a sudden lucid dreams started happening all the time because that's a lot of like what's going on when you're dreaming It's your subconscious is just doing whatever. And because I feel like I really get that part of me now, it's not so far removed from me as it was. Oof. It's a hard thing ha wanting to laugh when a funny message gets said and there's water in your mouth. Yeah, that was, that was a really funny message, Dasha. <laughs> That's it? That's the only detail? Some Yeah, sometimes it's like they're, they're foggier for sure. But yeah, the, the tides are definitely shifting. I mean, we'll see, what we're seeing is stuff becomes more legal. Research is being done. I think it's just like everything kind of sways back and forth. And I think a lot of people are kind of just fed up with the current state of corporatism and like the levels of control they're feeling and everything like that. And they want, they want not an escape, but just like a release. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. And I think it was a very similar thing in the 70s because you got, you know, you had the 60s, um, you know, everyone was worried about, like, the Cold War and stuff like that. Uh, everyone was being told to go fight in Vietnam. No one really wanted to do that. Everything was so strict, you know? And, and people wanted uh, a way to feel like a release from that. They didn't want to be a part of it as much. And then, I think in like the 80s and 90s, things got a lot stricter, especially after 9-11, for sure. I mean, that was in the 90s, but like, that was probably the peak of it right there, like in terms of the strictness. And I think we're swinging the other way again. I think people are getting tired of it. I think it's just something that happens over time. I think, honestly, one of the best things you can do for yourself, and this is, I mean, I'm like a mega hippie to be fair, but like one of the best things you can do is like really get in tune with your subconscious because it like improves so many aspects of your life in ways you can't even imagine. Like music sounds way better because you're able to like make stories and have connections to things that aren't real. And you can listen to music in ways that don't make sense. And it's like, I don't know, it's the whole thing. Being in tune with like how you're feeling about stuff is like a whole different. It's a whole different ball game. Oh, can you? Well, the most legal way to do it would probably be meditation. I'd say. I think it's just like an autism tick or something. When I get when I get focused, I start chewing on my cheek. I'm not actually chewing, or I think I'm just moving my tongue around in my mouth. I don't know. But I can't stop it, that's for damn sure, because I never know that I'm doing it, ever. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's a habit. I, I can't stop it.
Hmm. You know what? If I leave right now, I can actually still go to Wegmans and I've for basically two hours. So I think I am just going to sign now because I don't want to go to Subway. I don't. I don't want to go to Subway. I don't want to do it. Uh, yeah. I'll do that. I'll, I'll stream probably tomorrow, actually. I think I have time tomorrow to stream if I just wake up early enough. Sorry we didn't talk about, like, a lot of real stuff today. I just, I just wanted to, like, I wanted to see you all again. Honestly, I'll say it. I was a little sick of not hanging out with you all. Uh, sorry if we, because I know we talk about this sort of stuff a lot. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted a normal stream for a while, I guess. I'm going to go get dinner. I'd stream longer, but I gotta, I gotta get dinner. Eating matters, doesn't it now? I will raid someone. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll talk about some interesting stuff. I think, I think now that people are like, oh, he's back, you know, I, I want to make sure I catch the next one, then I can start talking about more, like, Japan stuff, and we can really get into that, you know. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I mean, I don't want to be all, like, um, dramatic, but... Just the fact, whenever I leave and come back and everyone's still here, it's one of those feelings like, I don't deserve it, but I, I'm i eternally grateful. I'll upload a new video probably before August, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It's going to be a good one, I think, so you know, keep your eyes peeled. I'll see you all tomorrow, probably. So yeah, take care.